small hollow in a tall tree at the bottom of a big mountain. There lived a very kind and curious squirrel. Every night from her cozy home, the squirrel watched the bright round moon appearing above the mountain. The moon would slowly rise up into the sky, and hundreds of tiny stars started to shine. The squirrel did not understand why the moon never slept at night. After all, the sun hid behind a mountain every evening and went to sleep. Almost all forest animals slept at night, too. And the same for people. Maybe the moon doesn't have a bed, reasoned the squirrel. It couldn't be true. Even the little mouse living under her tree had a bed. I bet nobody reads bedtime stories for the moon, guessed the squirrel. But how can I help her? I mean, when I don't get enough sleep, I am angry with everyone. I don't want the moon to be in a bad mood. So the squirrel made up her mind to present the moon with her favorite fairy tale book. Almost every evening, her mom or dad read magic bedtime stories to the squirrel from that book, and she always fell into a deep sleep. The squirrel took a book from the shelf jumped out of the hollow in the tree onto a branch and looked around. Another branch? She landed on the ground and ran towards the moon. I hope the moon will like my gift indeed and she can finally fall asleep, the squirrel thought on the way. She had already passed by the mole's house and a small stream. Squirrel ran to the top of the mountain and began to call the moon. Moon! Moon! Where are you? There was no moon on the mountain. The squirrel looked around and saw a fox sitting on a small stone. Why are you shouting? There is no moon here, said the fox. The moon lives behind the forest. He pointed to the horizon with his paw. In fact, the moon was no longer shining brightly above the mountain. It was above the pine forest. The squirrel became upset and sat down on the grass. Can it be that I will never give my fairy tale book to the moon? She thought sadly. Don't get upset, squirrel. You should come with me. I also want to give the moon a gift, said the fox. The squirrel was happy, and the two ran towards the moon. <laughs> Running together was great fun. But first, they ran into the fox's house to get his gift. The fox lived in a very spacious hole. He even had a room of his own. The fox decided to give the moon his favorite soft blanket. He put it into a backpack 
and went on running with the squirrel. The animals very quickly ran through the pine forest and found themselves in a glade. But there was no moon there. Moon! Moon! Where are you? A bear cub was sitting in the glade watching the stars. One hundred and twenty-four. One hundred and twenty-five. One hundred and twenty... Why are you shouting? Now I've lost count because of you, said the displeased bear cub. We are very sorry. But have you seen the moon here? asked the squirrel. There is no moon here, and never has been. The moon lives behind that lake, answered the bear cub. The squirrel and the fox were upset and sat down on a tree stump. It looked like they would not be able to give the gifts to the moon that day. Take me with you, said the bear cub. I will give the moon a jar of delicious raspberry jam. The squirrel and the fox immediately agreed. The next moment, all three were running towards the moon to bring their wonderful gifts. Running together was even greater fun. Soon they had passed a farmer's barn and a beehive. The animals kept running until they stopped right at the tall tree where the squirrel lived. And her mom was standing near the tree, waiting for her. Mom, where does the moon sleep then? The little squirrel asked in surprise. The moon doesn't sleep anywhere, her mom smiled. If it isn't shining for us, that means it's nighttime here. But in other countries, it's daytime. If the sun is shining for us, then it is day here. But in other countries, it's night. So, you see, it's a cycle, answered her mom, stroking the little squirrel behind the ear. But this time, the animals were not upset. The fox spread his warm blanket on the grass. The bear cub opened his jar of raspberry jam. And the squirrel put her favorite book next to her. They all lay down on the blanket and began to read each other's stories while treating themselves to delicious jam. And in between fairy tales, they counted the stars. One hundred and twenty-six, one hundred and twenty-seven. Come now, little one, close your eyes and help us count the stars. One hundred and twenty-eight. One hundred and twenty-nine, one hundred and thirty, one hundred and thirty-one,